Hi and welcome back to our channel. Today we happen to be here at Hollywood Studios once again on a cloudy day. But to do something completely different guys, we are experiencing for the first time sci-fi dining theater. And this is a restaurant that is super hard to find <laughs> uh, reservations. It's super, super hard to find it. And on top of that, they came up with new menu items, right? So <laughs> Uh, we're here to check out the new menu items and of course to just experience this for the first time and of course we're gonna bring you inside with us so we can now wait to show it to you but if you happen to be brand new around here hi welcome to Case Adventures where our main mission is to help you have fun when you come here to Disney Universe or any other theme park with that said consider becoming part of this family by simply and also by smashing that like button if we're sharing any valuable content with you family are you guys hungry yes, yes. So am I. So what are we waiting on? So, Wait, mom, hit the intro. Mom, hit it. I see you're working on that Instagram, aren't you? Yep, sure okay. am. There you go. If you're not following us. Why not, people? I don't know, people. I'm working really hard. Like, <laughs> cool Case Adventure on Instagram. Make sure you follow us to just keep up with all our adventures. But anyways, are you super excited to come here? I am. I've always wanted to come here. So, you, so you've never, you never been here before? Never, no. In all your years as employee, you've never been here before? Cast member. Wow. Okay. So definitely it's going to be something new. And here's what's cool about this restaurant. You know, it's a... Uh, do dinner and show 50 style at the drive-in theater featuring American cuisine and sci-fi movie clips. Anyways, we have seen many videos about this restaurant before. It looks fun. It looks super fun. And now, the food looks, it looks good. One thing I'm also interested to see, Karen, because I have heard this from the plus side community. A lot of people say that once you're in the tables by the car, they're kind of uncomfortable, not uncomfortable, they, there's not enough space. So I, I want to see if I'm able to fit comfortably, I think and a lot of people. Like the actual table? Or the yeah, I think so, oh. yeah. So we'll, we'll see, because again, we've never been there before, but that's what I hear. You got that amazing text that says your table's ready. That's what you got? So make sure you, you guys need reservations for this restaurant, as we mentioned in the intro. They are super hard to get. But they also do walk-ins. Make sure if you're gonna do the walk-in, do it early in the morning because they feel very quick. Now, once you check in, you can do it through the app or you can come over here on the counter. They actually either call you or let you know through a text that the table is ready. Look at this. I like it. Digging this behind the scenes. Damn, look at that. Wow. Bunch of cars. Now, this is pretty cool, though. How they pretend that you are in an actual vehicle with a tax. Disney tag right there. Yeah. That's very, very cute. Now, you may ask at this point, how do, how do we fit? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you now. So, this is how much space I have. So, if you're a person that has a big belly, this is gonna be super uncomfortable. I don't know if the front seat has more seat, more space. I don't know. I gotta check it out. I will check it out in a second to see if it's uh, if you have uh, more space in the front of here. But I mean, if you don't, I could see the problem in here. Yeah. Because. I fit, but I honestly feel feel like I'm over the table. <laughs> so I, I could see it. But anyways, we're gonna check out the menu now, so that way we can make a decision on what we're gonna order. All right, Carlos, tell us: is the front seat better? A tiny bit, just a tiny bit. It's not much of a difference. Though. So it's, honestly, it's not much of a difference. So because I think because you can put your legs out more um, it allows you to like have a better m much more space so, but still if you have a big belly 
It's gonna be very tight. Tight squeeze. Just know that. All right, so the kids order milkshakes to begin with. What kind yeah. of milkshake is that? It's an Oreo. Oreo milkshake? Because, you know, we're not laying those like that anymore. Ooh. How is it, Cap? <laughs> really good? Very good. Yes. Okay. Very good, very good. And you okay. liked it? It's delicious. It's delicious, Kyla? It's super good. Yes. We have placed the order. We have. Talk to us. What, what do we have? have for appetizer, we ordered the spinach and artichoke dip. Which is brand new on the menu. It's a blend of spinach, artichoke, red peppers, cauliflower, cashew cheese, and oatmeal served with housemaid chips. It's and all it, plant-based. Uh, yeah, it's a vegan uh, appetizer, and we promise you guys that we want to uh, start trying vegan dishes, you know, vegan uh, dishes, because we want to, you know, let you know, although we're not vegan, we want to basically let you know how it tastes. So, plus, plus it's brand new, so we want to try that. And then, Ka Kevin, what are you going to get? Uh, Kyla and I are going to share the classic American burger. Okay. And that's just... It's a classic American yeah. burger. Yeah. Uh, and then Kahlo is going to do the drive-in barbecue burger, which is a, beef, uh, a blend of beef and house-made seasoning served on a brioche bun, topped with a nine-hour smoked pork, bourbon, bacon, jam, cheddar, and barbecue sauce. And then Carlos is going to get the pork on pork burger, which is a grill house-made pork patty topped with roasted pork belly, White sharp cheddar, caramelized onions, cabbage salt, and house made Carolina mustard sauce. And apparently, it's Ooh. one of uh, people's favorite in here. Yes, it seems like it. And then the feature film burger, which is the new the new burger, uh, it's a it's a burger with it's a surf and turf, so it has a burger with a uh, patty uh, crab cake on top. Yeah, and we don't we eat because we, we don't eat uh, any seafood or anything like that. So, what other things for the appetizer do they have and stuff? Uh, they have onion rings, uh -huh. uh, fried dill peppers, uh, sci fi smoked wings, and a black garlic Caesar salad. So, the wings, I know for sure the wings are new. Um, and also, they do have obviously kids' meal, yes. but they're normal, they're you normal. know. Mac and cheese, chicken tenders, cheeseburger yeah. with their two sides. So, good to know. Yeah. Good to know. And how's the shake? Delicious. Still delicious. delicious. Still delicious. Yes. So one of the best shakes that you ever tried? Uh, yes. Oh, wow. Are you driving, dude? Can I get a ride? No. You got 20 bucks to be in my no. taxi. 20 bucks? Yeah. That's not that bad. People gladly pay 20 bucks. So anyway, one thing I want to just point out to you guys, if you have a bigger party, they have a three rows cars over here. You know. I don't know if they see the same party in one car or they divide, you know, the party. So I'm not sure about that, but hey, kind of cool to see they have larger cars. Buddy. Yeah, we got little speakers for our car. Oh, yeah, so that's the speakers <coughs> from the movie that he's playing or whatever he's playing on the big screen. I, I thought they were just like big speakers and they're like little speakers beside their ears. Yeah. It's pretty cute, though. While we wait for the food, I want to show you back here. Uh, one thing that I read and I actually confirmed with our server, if you get a walking table, most likely you're going to be seated right here on this picnic table. So it tells you that on the app and they also uh, confirm it for me. So if you get a walking, most likely you will be seated back here on this picnic table. But this is, this is kind of cool. Look at the Disney tag that I was telling you earlier. Yeah. This is a, a better view. Or how this theater looks like. So the artichoke spinach dip has arrived. Actually, it smells pretty good. Yeah, Here's the chips. Yum. Okay, you want to do us the honor? Sure. I'm kinda, sure we're kind of maneuvering, you know, between the belly on the table. Well, it's not a lot of space. 20 uh, plates and 20 condiments over there. They really make you feel like you're in a driveway in your yeah. car where you don't have space to eat. Exactly, so <coughs> it's limited space. Limit oh Karen approves rather. Does it is it I know that it's plant based, but does it taste like it's like artichoke. So like normal. Like normal. Okay, good. Mm. I actually mm -hmm. just tried the, the artichoke dip, it tastes delicious. Kalel. Kalel, what do you thought? 
That is delicious. Wow. I actually thought for a second that I was eating the pasta though. Pasta? Yeah. Okay. It's really, it's really, it's really good. It's really good. I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but it's really good. So I'm waiting for Kyla. You know, she has to try it multiple times. She's doing the home. She's acting like a baby. But it doesn't help her. She takes like the tiniest bite. How is it that Kyla does it? Like a baby. You know when you feed baby, uh, baby food and they're going like, that's Kyla. Just so you guys know. Kyla. Is it a J or an A? It's she's very thinking. easy. Thinking about it. Oh, she's thinking about it, people. She's thinking about it. But anyway, the three of us liked it. So, Still majority rule. So, we don't need her vote. Once Kyla decides to give us her vote, we'll let you know what she thought. But... Um, I, I like it. I think I like it, yeah. Still you want to try an, another one? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Like I think Kyla really liked it. What do you guys think? <laughs> She's trying to get every little bit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think she liked it, right? It looks like it. What do you think, Kyla? Loved it? Wow. That is, that is an amazing dip. That is an <clears> amazing dip. <throat> it's probably the best. Dip we've had anywhere. On property, outside of property, that's the best dip that we've had. And honestly, for the kids to be eating Irish up spinach, that's that's a big winner right there. Thumbs up, right? All right, guys. So I just want to show you really quick. This is the classic cheeseburger right over here with the fries. Karen and Kyla are sharing, just like Karen mentioned. And I love the plates too. Ah, the plates are super cool. They look like little cars. Yeah, and this is mine. Um, let me see. Pork belly. Pork belly right over here. Lighting over here is kind of like... Horrible. Kind of crazy. supposed to be in a theater, kind of. Empire. Yeah, I know. So, lighting obviously is not the best, but I want you to see it. It looks interesting. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to try it out and obviously let you know my review on the pork, on pork belly. Oh, wow. This is delicious. Wow. Kyle, you try your burger already? <laughs> My burger is delicious. Wow, this is probably... I, I understand why this place is always so busy. I know. And this is probably one of the best food that I've tried here on property. And especially here at Hollywood Studios. Yes. Wow. I just want to show you guys Kalel's burger. This is a barbecue burger. Look at this. There all the burgers are half a pound burger. That one's got pork belly too. And it has pork belly. Now you tried it. How mm -hmm. was it? Really good? <laughs> really good. Kalel, you really like it? It's delicious. Wow. Like and I really see how this is like This it, is the spot. This is yeah. it. This is the way. I really see how this is always busy and like nobody can get it. Wow. And my pork belly, pork on pork belly, was delicious. So, wow, this is a must. Yeah. Kyla is still working on hers over there. She's struggling. Karen finished her yeah. half. And but they have milkshakes, so that doesn't Yeah, the kids got the milkshake filled them up, so. I chugged the milkshake. Wow, that was good. It is good, guys. So, yeah, so you guys know, I mean, these plates are shareable. Yes. Uh, the selfishness in me say eat it all. <laughs> I shouldn't have to, but that. yeah, I'm, I'm regretting it already. Kaleo ended up leaving some, and he's, so take, he's taking it home. And of course, they're gonna come and tell you, would you like uh, some dessert? And, uh, and usually we will say no. Right. However, we told you we were gonna try new menu items. Yes. The artichoke spinach dip was one of them. And she mentioned my favorite reward, cheesecake. So they do have a new raspberry cheesecake. And look at this. I actually like this. It's pretty cool, right? That looks, <coughs> that looks pretty good. So of course, new item. We're gonna try it out for you. It looks so good. And cheesecake, I have to go for it. But don't you worry about it, guys. I already ate a whole entire burger, so that's what we got, four spoons. Each of us get a piece and then we control it. That's how we control it. I like basically everything about this restaurant. 
to the point that they come and tell you a parking violation for you for later. Sorry, sorry guys, I got, I got a parking violation. Yeah, because you guys don't know how to drive. So anyways, this is the, the check. But it's called a parking violation in here. Love it. Now, how? what is the damage? Oh, and they stamp parking violation on it. Parking violation. There you go, guys. That is so cool. Parking violation. And the damage is what? 115.64. 115. So that's for an uh, appetizer? Two, two shakes. Drinks. Two shakes. Two drinks. Two drinks. Three, three entrees. Three entrees and a dessert. Yeah. yeah. So average Disney price. Not bad at all. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. All right, I'm gonna try. Enough, right. enough talking, Carlos. That's hard. <laughs> oh boy, that must be good. Bob, do you need me to drive away? I could drive away for you. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Oh my. This is the best cheesecake in property. Really? Okay, so. Oh my God. Rated? You seem, I mean, wow. Delicious. Okay. Now nah, I want to see everybody. Oh, it's matcha. So, what do you rate it from one to five violations? Violations. A ten violation. Wow, oh, violation. this is amazing. All right, guys. So this is the white. It's called the Red Planet, and it's white chocolate cheesecake with spiced blueberry compote on a graham cracker tart with a matcha sponge and golden candied almonds. So this stuff right here is the matcha with the with the. And what's crazy is that the other day, uh, when we tried the new treats over here, uh, we tried cheesecake, and those cheesecakes were good. They, yeah. The cupcake cheesecake. Yes. And the actual cheesecake that we tried, it was really good. This one, I, I, Karen has to try. All right, let's try. Let's go. Let's go. Am I gonna like the blueberry stuff? You are. And you don't like blueberry. <laughs> Second try, second try. Okay. <clears throat> now this second try, I can guarantee you, is not because she needs to it's rethink. It's because I need it. To rethink what she's gonna say. Okay, it's because so. look at her Karen's reaction. That's really good. It's pretty good. It's, and the matcha, delicious. Is it the best cheesecake? It is. Here in Hollywood Studio. I mean, we tried two the other day. Yeah, this is delicious, people. Kalel is trying it now. <laughs> He's shaking his head. He's even dancing. Kyla should like it because it's cheesecake and blueberry. Kyla loves blueberry. Kyla doesn't like blueberries, but he didn't notice the difference. I mean, it's just a blueberry, but it's still really good. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah, another one? You want to You don't? You good? Yeah, he's full. He's full, Kyla. I need another bite. She needs one more bite. Kyla, what's happening? It's so good. It's, I'm so full, though. And it's that good, right? Wow, guys. It has two of my favorite things, blueberry and cheesecake. Wow. On our way back. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Today you have it here from Hollywood Studios. Sci-fi dining theater. It was amazing. People, do me a favor. If you're coming here to Hollywood Studios, get your cell phones out. Make a reservation right now. Do not wait. It is worth 100%. It has become one of my favorite restaurants in the entire Disney property. I will say so far, they have the, if not the best, one of the best burgers in property. That's just my opinion. So what do you guys thought about it? I'm so stuffed. And, and I could say it's one of the best restaurants in Disney property. Wow, okay. We walk the whole park and I'm so stuffed. <laughs> It's amazing. The atmosphere, the server, and, and the food was amazing. So you should definitely try to come check it out. I want to go back, though. I want to go back. That's one of the best burgers. I am considering that anytime I come here, we have to have reservations. Try, 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 try to get it because it's super difficult. Now we Do, know why. Def, yeah, now I understand. I honestly thought it was a very overrated restaurant, but no. I completely understand why you could barely find reservations. You guys definitely have to go and check it out. But anyways, sadly this adventure has ended. We're gonna see you in the next adventure, guys. Bye. Bye.